Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, we have got... Our second map here. And this is actually could be the determining factor here. If Team Onyx does not pull off a win here, Sapphire is walking away 180 bucks richer. Yes, they do. And I'm gonna feel, you know, again, it's tough to know how much time these teams have spent practicing and investing in making these wins happen. But unfortunately, someone's gotta walk away the victor right now. Sapphire's looking at that win right here. They can smell it. We can see the excitement here as well. Oh yes, absolutely. They're very pumped to uh, to walk away here with something tangible. I remember the So again, if you look at Team Sapphire, their whole team is designed to just obliterate Zave. They got their double hit scan, they got their Zen. They're just keeping him shut down. Yeah, don't underestimate. I was gonna say between the Discord and the aim of Zen, along with uh, you know two hit scans, you're looking at a pretty pretty good damage dealer against uh, Vera. Yeah. And I think what's even crazier is that despite all that, you see her or you see Vera slash Zave still doing tremendous amounts of damage. Yeah. Still making it difficult for the teams to, to deal with. And also, while you guys are in there, uh, I know in our active chat, if we have uh, any uh, mentions for the uh, player, you know, player of the game for our hero highlight, feel free to chime in as well. Absolutely. We're hoping that uh, we'll be able to present that award to the uh, the player that kind of you think makes the biggest impact across all four games. Um, but definitely give your feedback for these games that you're seeing right now. Yep. You can see Team Onyx already pushing in, and Team Sapphire's given up that front point already. Zave goes up and over the side there, but is knocked out. Again, those double hit scans make it pretty tough here, and you can see that's the cue for Sapphire to start collapsing on him, but Carrie. Oh, and look at that hook up there by Carrie. Yeah, so they're starting to split it off a little bit, but. But they're very split off from the point right here. Onyx is all the way up top there. They're looking to get aggressive and chase him down here. But while they're doing that, ooh, he is able to pick up the healer. They are losing a lot here out of Sapphire. Might not have been the best move here as it's going to be a lot more easier for Onyx to reinforce than it is for Sapphire. And especially as they start to lose these key hit scans for Zave, it just opens up his ability to do so much more damage. Oh, no idea how he managed to pick up that hook, but he does. And he slams that Zarya down and Will Big goes down. Big punish. Big punish. Will was, he had nowhere to go there. Team Onyx just taking over this point, dominating. And almost overextending to make sure that they stay away. It's a long walk back here to the point from Spawn. Yeah, I don't think Sapphire is going to look to contest this as all everybody's on the point. You can see those alts building for both teams here. Um, we'll see what they're able to do here as they move forward. Yeah, Onyx doing a very good job there, pushing through and immediately putting pressure on point B. Shreds is right up there front. Kira with Senpai is right behind, so you got both your tanks in good position right now. You see Carrie there sneaking up on the lift. Looks like he's going to try and do some picking off up there. Nope, drops down. Yeah, drops down, ups, not for They're moving more towards the left here as a yeah, big group. Yeah. Got to see what they're thinking. They're going to the far left stairwell there. Good, good positioning. You know, this is where if you were a Pharah, that's like... Oh, love yeah. Love that. Look at that. Guard it. They got Irritable all protected there on the wall. This is where the team aspect comes into place. Look at this. Yeah. The whole team moving in unison up here to move up, using that shield to protect that. Look pretty at this. amazing. They moved around to the complete back of the point. Blitzbolt getting pulled off immediately by Carrie. Very nice play there. Wow. Look at this coordination. Shrek is coming down. Shrek pops oh. the ult. But gets ulted back. Free Straws manages to pick him up, but he goes down as well. We're going to see. This A lot of trades going on here. Oh, coming down for Zayv. Does get picked up Yurtable with the res, keeping everybody up. Blitzball gets the healer. We're seeing a little bit of a charge up here. Back. Very nice ult, maybe a little too late there from, from Link uh, playing the Lucio. Might have been, we just see now 
lot of alts getting popped for Sapphire just to try and stabilize. And this might play into Onyx's favor. They kept the first triangle. Onyx got the first, yeah, they got the first, the first triangle or the first third. If you notice there, as we mentioned earlier, uh, sometimes that's all it takes to win. Yes, this can be a very tough point to take fully. And uh, you see Team Onyx picking off the first part of it and already starting to reposition for the next move. That was a very unassuming grab. I'm, I, I, don't, I was a little uh, thrown back there. Now we see Carrie up in the top lift there, picking him off. Blitz Bolt right there behind doing damage. Yeah, you see his hooks have been great. Ooh. Gets that shield up right on in time. It's going to be hard to... Uh... Ooh, nice. And keep in mind for you newer players, when you hear that carry, when they when uh, when Roadhog drops that shield, you know you're going to have seven seconds after that hook. I'm sorry, when he throws that hook, you know you have seven second opening. So sometimes you'll see right after the hook's thrown and it's missed, you'll see that immediate offensive back on Roadhog. Yeah, I mean, you still got to be careful with the shotgun. You can still one shot you, yeah, but you absolutely. feel a lot safer. Yes, and you can be at a little bit more of a distance as well. So Onyx building up their alts, but they are going to have to contend with Will's Graviton, which can definitely cause some issues, but their alts are coming up as well. See a lot of offensive, but they also have just over three minutes. It's a fair amount of time that they can still push. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see, are they going to try and do the same thing? It looks like they are. They're yeah, coming around that backside. Fascinating. So which one are they going to go for here? Are they going to go for the back? Looks like they're stopped. Nope. Looks like they're going to go the same route. Looks like they're doing the same route. Again, they have a big alt advantage here. Yurtable's safe in the back, which is exactly how they want to play this. Mm -hmm. Yurtable's alt is up. Ooh, you see Ninja trying to come in from behind there. They just got to keep everybody up. Ooh, Carrie picks up Blitzbolt again, which is the initiator. Nails him, but the alt comes out. Might be a little too late. Will does not have it. Oh, there he goes. Alt counters by... Uh, Three straws, they all get sucked into the Graviton, Yurtable goes down, and that's really going to stop this push from moving forwards much further. So even though Zave is picking up a lot of kills here, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. He's got to escape while he's still got some health left. Barely any poor health. But gets the full, full health back. One of the challenges here is that, you know, you look at what could have been different, if I think they would have picked up, if Yurtable would have been able to survive that just a little bit longer and get his alt off, that could have really turned or turned the fight around quickly. Mm -hmm. So this is very interesting. They're opting now to go for Ninja off of Soldier onto this Genji, and uh, that's going to reduce a big hit scan, and uh, it might open up Zave as an opportunity to really shut him down. It's interesting. I wonder why they opted for that being in their defensive position to go with the Genji. They might feel that their ability to shut down Zave is really working well, and they don't need to, to run the double hit scan. Ooh. Manages to get healed up. He's still got the res. So really, this is still definitely a winnable push, and that all does nothing. Counter all, the mod goes down. Counter all knocks three down, I think. Kenwa Senpai picks up two with that ult. Zave pops an ult as well. Picks up another two. They're on the point. It's just Ninja now trying to work it out. It's looking like Team Onyx is successfully going to cap this point. Blitzball, though, trying to stop trying to it. Solve it. He's all the way back on it just a little bit, just a little bit left, but they're not able to get in here. They're trickling it. I don't think Team Sapphire is going to be able to get it, but you never know. Oh, it's big. They are still contesting it. All comes out of Ninja trying to make to pick something up. Blitzball back on the point. Just zigging and zagging, but they're so heavily scattered. But Blitzball is looking good. Oh, it just falls right before you can take anybody out, but they had Yurtables all that whole time. Wow. It's like they had the pocket aces there. Very well played. So they cap this point with 30 seconds left. Very comfortable position. So that's a lot of pressure on Sapphire there. Yeah, now Sapphire needs to return and, and push in to, to get this win here. They can still win it, but we will be seeing it go back and forth if they do. Mm -hmm. If you're having heart palpitations, Manly, just have some of this purple Red Bull. Red Bull. 
It's it'll actually, fix, yeah. It'll fix it right up for you. Or increase your heart rate. I don't know. It's supposed to give me wings as well. Mm. So, fun little, uh, oh, we're too start. I'll save my factoids for later. <laughs> All right, let's see what they're uh, going right. to run here. Let's see what we got. So Ninja, going back to that soldier, you know, I, again, it's really easy to be the, you know, the couch quarterback or whatever that is. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't watch a lot of sports ball, but uh, whatever that saying is, because you look at Ninja and he's, you know, went to Genji, they were really doing a good job shutting down Zave, and you gotta wonder, do you need this double hit scan to deal with him? I'm going to say yes. I don't think you can successfully stop Zave's aggression without it right now. I'm going to agree with you on that as well. I think they proved that time and time again. He is a superb Fera player. I mean, definitely uh, leaps and bounds above your normal Fera player and is a lot harder to shut down. And I mean, it really, we saw some of the best DPS players in the league have trouble taking him down 1v1. So. Well, not to mention, he's also got the pocket mercy a lot of the times, which makes it even more oh, yeah. challenging. But look at that, he already getting scared down with the, oh, with wow. the Discord. But Quick move by Sapphire right in that room. Slipped right in there with not a lot of opposition. But look at this, they're quick to cut that off. they zipping back out. Now Blitzbolt cut off from his team. They're going to lose a lot of DPS from this. That's going to hurt. they got to be able to pick him off or else he's just... Yep, and there he's picked out, yep. That was a good move on Zane's part. A little risky, but I think that was worth it. Now this team's a little bit trapped in here. They're going to see what they can do to get out, which they do. Free Straws dives in there. Madly nails a great push. Ooh. Misses. Oh, wow. That was really tough, but all coming down there. Look at all that gets picked up, but it's not going to be enough. Carrie went in to go clean up, but did not. I was not able to do it. That was tough. Oh. So, Dorgosaurus, big miss all there on Kwai Senpai. Again, it's moves like that that are gonna really, could come back and haunt them. The reality is, if that diva got, if that alt went to the other Rhine after he altered their entire team, we yep. could be looking at a very different hold out of Very Tionics. different. And they've got six and a half minutes to take this. Oh my gosh. You know what, we've seen holds though. So we've seen holds. Yes, the timer start can go very quickly. It's not dealt with. Nice defense there by uh, Trades there. Carry picking up the kills. Trin keeping his team up as Free Straws goes ham. Trying to deal with Carry, but just doing too much damage. And I'm already starting to push this back. Kind of a late ult out of Link. The yeah, team's just kind of all over the place kind of collapsing in here this is a kind of a very disorganized effort they went in and now i'm just di dividing and conquering on their own yeah but it is working to a certain extent but again team ruby is going to start getting reinforced there goes zave kind of an alt out of shreds i don't know if i agree with that necessarily but it does manage to totally shut down the scared i think it was also scared off will a little bit there pushed him back because you know he's charged yep but Trin does manage to get the kill what? on save. I don't know how it went through that shield, but wow. that's the witchcraft of carry. Yeah. And again, now we've already chewed off a minute. Oh. Yeah, so now we're back down on the five minute mark. Again, though, lots of time. It only takes one push yeah. to really secure the win. And if it's, you know, four minutes versus 30 seconds, it's going to be tough. Team Sapphire starting to come in. Free Straw's shield's gonna be broken. Get picked up quickly by Carry and taken out. Taken right out. Really smart play there. Again, you can see Onyx's coordination and teamwork. Also, something that's worth mentioning that we haven't before was if you notice the Roadhog hook, Zave is keeping an eye on that as well. So when he sees that hook grab, he can immediately go for that and do some heavy damage. There we go. Ball pops on the right person twice, Senpai. Tries to get something to happen there. Doesn't really do it. Team Ruby's in a tight spot here. They're starting to collapse here. Will with the alt and cleaning. We do have the res coming out though. Oh. Irritable. Breeze again some new life into this team with Zave's alt coming down. Managed to pick up Ninja, which might be enough. We'll see. Opting to go for this tank. 
just enough, you know, to just stay alive is really all that it comes down to. Link trying to help him and his Zenyatta get out of there safely, but Zave's got his number. You can see firsthand how terrifying it is to just have death from above raining on you. But he does get out. Now again, we're down to four minutes, not even a single tick on the point as Onyx is starting to stabilize. They're up and old. So it can be pretty scary still for him. We got a lot of ults coming up for Team Onyx here, which again is just... Both teams are positioned pretty well right now. We're gonna see a really good team face off. But you can see, you know, look at, oh, Shrades, really low on that barrier. He's got to be careful. And Shrades, there's nobody behind him at that point. Three straws Whoa. makes a big move, but he falls asleep. Falls asleep and can't, and can't answer that. But wait, Shrades responds. Didn't pick anybody up that time, but is swinging wildly at Will. Will's charging a little bit there. But then we got Carry trying to do some picks. And you're irritable with the Rez. Nice. The Rez comes up, which just totally opens up the opportunity here. Look at that, Zave all does pick up Soldier. Now we're looking at an Onyx hold here, and again, the longer these points go, picks up Will, maybe sure he's got to turn around, Whoa. but doesn't matter, Carrie picks him up. Onyx though, taking up the front point, pushing him back. And they're really up. pushing, Onyx is not, they're taking no prisoners. They're like, we need as much time as we can get here. There they go, picking up Link, creates another big stagger, and now they're at two and a half. Wow. It's that stagger right there. I mean, look, Link's not back yet. They know they're not going to push without their healers. They buy more time, letting those ults charge and now up. now they're back at two and a half minutes. Yep. Now we got they're very close. And Irritable already back up to 70%. So it's just a matter of time. This is all slowly starts to get raised as well. They're going to have another res, most likely, for this next fight. Ooh, Ninja. Really close to getting picked off by the Fire Strike. Another pick up on Will though, not enough to take him down. See if Shrades is able to do anything. Shrades, we're gonna see if we need some more ride trading of alts here. Blitzball opting again for that zoning alt. Launches a couple shots to weaken that shield. Doesn't get any kills, but Onyx, ooh. Zave picking him up, and he's gonna have his alt again for this next push. And they're down there to the last is. two minutes. Yeah. He's gotta be careful though, that shield's breaking. Three straws runs up there. Oh, man, Will's shield is just, Zarya's shield is getting charged here constantly. It's just a full blast right there. Look, yeah, look at that, already 85%. He's doing a lot of damage. Oh, Keep yeah, up, up to 90 now. But again, this is going to be really hard for Team Sapphire to push in here as they keep losing players, keep getting picks. Yeah, they can't have that. You know, as Blitzbolt now is going as they, uh, as our Tracer. And we got Kerry going aggressively pushing back. He's really low and he gets picked off, which means that Sapphire is going to have an opportunity to move up here. Gets picked up. Dave, questionable alt there. Gets and rezzed rezzed. right away, but gets rezzed into the Graviton and it isn't able to connect on that. Team Ruby Sonics is starting to fall apart a little bit off the point, but this time, Shrades with a big res, picks him up. They're not gonna be able to pick this up, I don't think. Without some huge damage here. They're it's, approaching the 30 second mark and Onyx has recollected themselves. So Onyx is now pulling ahead in terms of the timer here. If they can push this to overtime, all they need to do is cap the next point like a third of the way and they're gonna be able to secure the win here. Yep. You can see Team Sapphire starting to collapse on him. Free Straws picks up Shrades. They're up a Rhine, they're up again. Ooh, you're, oh, but you're that Rez again off. comes out of those Rezes, just constantly keeping his team up. See grab it though right afterwards. But the shield's holding it up. There's just not enough damage to deal with it, and they're now pushing overtime here. He all comes out on trades, but he's hurt. He's got to keep his shield up, but he's just swinging away. Look at this team. Onyx starting to stabilize on the point here. They might be able to take this to game three, but Free Straws comes in with a huge ult. Picks up two. They might be able to pick this point up in overtime. Maybe. Look at this. It could be. Just staying right out of swinging distance. Staying on that. On that Haunting run. Free Straws. He's Haunting. already got his ult back up, and even though Free Straws pulled in that corner, it's not going to be enough, and wow. Team Onyx takes it. <laughs> Good on Onyx. What was that? 1-1. One, one. 
And Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah. Wow. That was really close. Wow. Unbelievable plays out of Yurtable there to Fantastic. keep his team up. Yurtable is really, uh, <laughs> wow. Blitzball with play of the game. Blitzball gets play of the game, but I'm going to be honest. I'm going to get something to Yurtable because yeah. his res is this whole game. Really cool stuff. Timing is just perfect. But you gotta commit Blitz. I mean, this is a well-deserved uh, Blitzball. Had some great plays as Tracer. Absolutely. You can see 159 direct rocket hits out of Zave. That is hard for any team to deal with. It's just constantly getting pelted, constantly having that level of aggression. Wow. Really so, cool. We are yeah, going into half. game three. I here. mean, we're going in game three here, uh, and I mean, they really, <laughs> both teams managed to show their strengths and weaknesses. We see Zave on Onyx, just this commanding DPS, but then we've got on Sapphire, they're just answering it right away. Yep. They're going right after it. I mean, Will to me is a standout player is at Zarya, but again, Blitzbolt's getting our play of the games, doing damage as well, so we're seeing a lot of really good plays here. And then you can't forget the Rhines. And Trades and free straws. You're able to see with the coordination of teamwork. You have Team Onyx. That was not the first time that they've played that type of strategy on Volskaya. Teams were informed of these maps before this tournament started. So they knew what they were matched up against. Absolutely. You saw the leadership moving them all up there. I don't know who their shot caller is. But they're moving up together as a unit forwards to present and drop in. And that's what helped them take that point both times. Yeah. So it's not just random play that's taking place here. We're seeing coordinated teams that are working together, that are running strats to make things happen. Very cool stuff out of these teams. I'm very excited to see what happens in our game three here. Yeah. So as we get set up here, we're going to